Nervous system problems are commonly seen in your myeloma. They may involve the central nervous system from drugs we use, drugs like thalidomide that may make you sleepy. The central nervous system means your brain. More frequently, these problems involve your peripheral nervous system. That is the nerves that innervate your hands, your feet, your arms, and your legs. Often patients develop peripheral neuropathies, numbness, tingling, and less often pain in their hands and feet. This may be from the antibodies themselves that can coat the nerves and make them not work right. But more frequently today, that's from the medications we use. Drugs like Velcade and thalidomide often cause nerve damage, resulting in a peripheral neuropathy. Now, the treatment of this may involve drugs, drugs such as Neurotin or drugs such as the more recently developed drug, Lyrica. Other drugs used involve Cymbalta and Doxapin. In addition, over-the-counter medications may help. We often use alpha-lipoic acid. This helps to reduce the risk of neuropathy. And among patients who receive thalidomide, or if you're also on Velcade, we keep them on this as long as they're on these drugs to reduce the severity and the risk of neuropathy. Now, in addition to the drug-induced neuropathy, we also know that infections can cause nerve problems. Infections like shingles or herpes zoster. This is the reactivation of the chickenpox virus. And we give patients who receive drugs like arsenic or Velcade long-term acyclovir or other drugs that are anti-herpetic. This is a herpes virus, the one that causes shingles. So if we give an anti-herpetic drug, we're going to reduce the chances of you getting shingles. So it's very important to let your doctor know if you're experiencing any problems with your nerves, especially if you're on drugs that may be causing it, because they want, may want to intervene with drugs, they may want to reduce the doses of the drugs you're receiving or stop them altogether. So communication is the key, which will lead to long-term benefits from the drugs you're receiving for your myeloma without untoward side effects that may not be reversible if they're not either discontinued or reduced in dosage soon enough.